Good morning, everybody. It's a cold and bright morning, but I'm feeling very cuddly and very cozy, and I'm in a pretty good mood despite being very tired as per usual on a day of work. The scruff is in full effect. Yes, I know, it's crazy. I'm actually capable of growing facial hair. What? Also, something I've noticed about my own facial hair growth is that my mustache parts <laughs> in the middle. It, hair just does not grow in this middle part of my nose cavity area. <laughs> I'm kind of wondering when that's gonna start growing. <laughs> it's kind of funny to think about because like throughout my life, there have always been like specific like parts of hair growth that I've been waiting for. Like I didn't hit puberty until I was like 13. So before that time I was like, oh, I want armpit hair so bad. After that I was like, oh my God, like I can't wait to grow a beard. Didn't really grow a beard until I was like, actually, I don't even think I had my first chin hairs until I was like 19. For real. And now the next thing for me is like, I want my hair to grow <laughs> in between my nose there. In due time. In due time, I'm sure. Transition! Hey everybody, it's the morning. I'm drinking a smoothie and I'm fucking pissed. But yeah, I am extremely, 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 extremely frustrated with my university right now because they are a school of... Insolent idiots. Not really, actually. That might be a little bit of an exaggeration, but I am really, really pissed because I've hit a roadblock due to a fault on my school's end. You know, something any university will tell you is, go see an advisor. Go see an advisor because they're gonna help you through the whole experience. See your advisor, right? No, wrong. Throughout my entire college education, you know how many times I went to see an advisor? Once and it was last semester to do my graduation, my mandatory graduation check. My university provides a check sheet that you can download online, and I've been following it all of college to make sure I'm gonna graduate on time. I trusted myself enough to know that I could hit every single mark on that check sheet and still graduate on time and not ever have to meet with an advisor. And I was doing fine, but I had to meet with my advisor last semester because it's mandatory, it's required in order to graduate. And while I was with this advisor, she went through every single required course that I had to take to finish and graduate. So I registered for those courses. This morning I got an email saying that I was missing one of them and I needed to register for it too if I wanted to graduate. Now what pisses me off is the email said I had to take a writing intensive course within my major However, the advisor last semester told me I had to take a writing intensive course, period. Not within my major, just any. So I took one in the English department because it fit with my schedule. Now, with that little mistake, I can't graduate unless I find a writing intensive course within my major. And of course, they're all filled up at this point. I'm really looking forward to graduating at this point, and it can't happen unless I get into one of these classes. So I'm gonna meet with an advisor today because <laughs> at this point there's nothing else I can do even though I really don't want to meet with an advisor again and see what I can do. Transition! All right, everybody, it's the end of another wonderful work day and look at how messy my room is. But you know what? What else is new, right? Back home, in my crib. School started yesterday and that was like a whole fiasco. I think I already talked about that. <laughs> and I'm uh, chilling with the roommate right now. He just entered the bathroom and he's gonna make an appearance pretty soon. Uh, somebody you guys haven't seen for a while, but we'll probably know. Roommate, you wanna let them hear your voice quick? Hello. Ooh la la, who could it be? <laughs> Before he exits the bathroom, I wanna let you guys know that I think I'm gonna release uh, one of the songs that I'm working on for my EP and put it on SoundCloud for you guys to listen to uh, very, very soon. And I feel like I say that a lot, but this time I really, really mean it. So um, look out for something within the next week or so. <laughs> oh, and here he is, the man of the hour, Mr. Mike. What's up? Mike, tell me, how does it feel being a straight male living with two queers? Uh, it's really testing my faith. Um, I've been doing extra Bible studies. You know, I think I can come out on top. I think Jesus is on my side. And you know what? That's the truth. That's the <laughs> truth of it. I mean, that's like a social experiment we decided to put him through to see if he could still come up, whoop, to see if he can still come out on top. Although, you know, when I came out, I was on top. <laughs> uh, to see if he could still come out on top and be one with Jesus despite being um, roommates with two sinners. Yeah. And that's what's beautiful. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And even if you didn't like it, Mike, still get up.
Just give it a thumbs up. Give it a goddamn thumbs up anyway. <laughs> Jesus would give it a Jesus would give it a thumbs up. Jesus would give it a thumbs up. Please go follow me at these links. Please, please, thank you. Go follow me, please, thank you.